Well, we got some running around to do today. I have to go to Harbor Freight. I'm looking for these little lights. I saw them online on eBay and I'm pretty sure that Harbor Freight sells them too. I'm not looking for anything like top of the line. Just uh, I know they'll get me by with what I need to do. <clears throat> they're little, they're LED lights and they're square. They're like about that big and they have like a kickstand that comes out on the back. You can set them down on the floor and aim them upward. You can all kinds of things. So what I want them for is like when I'm laying underneath a mower and I need to see underneath it, I don't have to keep taking all these other little lights under there with me. And uh, these LED lights are extremely bright and they just run on battery. And so I'm looking for a couple of them. And then the new toolbox has that hood that comes up the top and then kind of folds over top of the toolbox. So it leaves the whole top of my box like dark. And uh, you know, if the door's not open on the garage and I can't really see. So I know up at Harbor Freight, they have a bunch of the LED pod lights that are push button and uh, to turn them on and off. So I'm going to look for a few of them. And then I have some more work to do on the Walker MT. Um, I need to fix this issue with why that belt is not tight. It's a brand new belt on there and it's the correct belt i've gone through there's only three different belts for the um walker with the turbine with the ghs systems there's only three different belts you can get i've tried all three i've bought all three and i know i have the correct one i verified it with my dealer i verified it with the manual and uh you know i tried the other ones just to see if they would make it tighter and it, they didn't so um, there's an issue there. I'm thinking maybe the something's wrong with the tensioner. So I'm gonna look at that But either way, you know, it'd be easier to have these lights um, But first things first I gotta go to the post office and mail a package to Alex Nickens That I've been meaning to mail to him for weeks now and I just I had to get my garage cleaned up and I had to find the stuff that I'm sending to him and I finally got a chance to do that. So if you're watching this, say, Alex, I'm sorry it's taken me so long, but I'm going to the post office right now to get this mailed out to you. Look at these fancy new lights I just bought. Bought them at Home Depot. They're $9.97 a piece. And they have these. They take four AA batteries. They have these that come out on the back. You can angle them however you want. Push the button in, it's all LED, insanely bright. I won't shine it right at the camera, but they're pretty nice. I have one underneath there right now, underneath the walker. I'm gonna turn this one on to show you guys the problem that I'm having. Now, however much you can see, if you look down in there, I'm gonna try to show you the best that I can here. If I figure out where to put this fancy new light, Okay, if you look down in there, you see that spring right there? That spring is the tensioner. It goes to the tensioner pulley that runs, that's for the turbine, okay, for the blower. And it's just, it goes over to that one right there. If you can see, it goes to that pulley right down there. And it comes across and goes to this pulley right here, which is on the back of the blower. And in the middle, coming up from the bottom, there is the pulley that goes to this tension arm right here. And that spring is supposed to hold tension, hold that pulley upward. So to press up on the bottom of the belt to hold it tight. Now, this is the problem I'm having. As far as I know, I shouldn't be able to move this fan too freely with that belt on there. And the reason I believe that is because in the manual it says that you need to clean this out every once in a while. You know, it gets gummed up and I've had that happen where the fan is like just doesn't really want to turn because uh, wet grass and mud and all kinds of crap gets stuck in there. So you need to blow out from behind here. I usually do it with a pressure washer and clean this out. But it says before you do that, it says right in the manual, take that belt off so that this fan will spin freely. And that way it allows while you're spraying in there for the fan to keep going around and it gets water everywhere and cleans it out. But as you can see, 
if I get this light in a good spot here, as you can see, I can take this fan with just one finger and I can move it this way and I can spin it back this way. I can, I can move it very easily with just one finger. I can keep pushing it. Now a minute ago it was turning easier than that. I don't know why all of a sudden it stiffened up unless there's crap behind there, but it turns pretty easy. You can see, if you see down in there when I turn the fan, I can turn that pulley over there. I'm not sure that pulley is supposed to be turning, but it's also turning the one way down there. If you can see, I'm trying to make you see, you see them all moving. The one way over there is turning and the belt is, well, looks like the belt isn't even completely on there on that one. Maybe that is part of the problem. No, it should still spin freely. And now when I lift this up and lock the PTO in, Okay, now I can't turn it. Well, I can turn it a little bit, but not very much at all. So now when I lock that PTO in with the blades on, it it's so that I can't turn it. But I still think there should be more tension on this belt under here. Because I can, I can pick that belt up no problem. And I can put my hand in the bottom of that pulley. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can put my hand in the bottom of that pulley and I can, well, I can't move it that much, but I can move the belt. And as far as I know, I shouldn't be able to move that belt. Like I can, like when I lift that belt up and down, I can rock this back and forth. Now, see, this is pretty tight. It doesn't spin. See, when I push it back, now this thing should spin this way, okay, because it grabs all the stuff on the fins and it shoots it straight up. If it, if it spun this way, then it would just be pushing everything down. So it spins this way when it's going and throws everything up. But when I push the blower that way, my tension pulley is going down. It's pushing my tensioner pulley down and... It's taken the, uh, see you'll watch, see, watch the belt lift up when I push it down. See the belt lift up? It's not staying tight on there, which that's what it should be doing. It should be staying tight on there to spin this at optimal tension, and it's not. So you see the problem I'm having? It sounds very confusing, but it's uh in in my mind as it's turning as it's engaged in the blower is turning that's when you should have the most tension on the belt but when i turn when i have the blades engaged like i have the pto handle up right now which would mean the blades are engaged and the blower's going and with me turning the blower by hand the way it's supposed to be Every time I turn it, it's pushing that tensioner pulley down, which it's supposed to be held up. That's what holds the tension on the belt. It's pushing the pulley down and the belt becomes loose on there. So if any of you guys have the answer to that, if any of you guys know how to fix that before I go tearing this thing apart, um, I'm not gonna do it today. I'm probably gonna do it, um, I don't know, probably Monday or Tuesday's Christmas. So Monday or Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. That's when I'll probably work on this. So if any of you guys have the answer to that and know how to fix it or have run into this problem, um, don't don't comment and leave me referrals to the manual and all that stuff. I've already been through the whole thing. Um, if any of you guys have actually had this problem and you know how to fix it, I'm sure once I tear it apart, I'll figure it out and I'll get it fixed. But if any of you guys already know what it is and can just save me a lot of time and hassle and get me right to the source, then please comment below um, anything you can help with. Thanks, guys.